Hello students, welcome to Teach You Smart. Let's continue our journey through direct and inverse proportions. In the last session, we discussed the topic of direct proportion. That is, if x and y are in direct proportion, then x equals ky, or x by y equals k, where k is a non-zero constant of proportionality. That is, x1 by y1 equals x2 by y2. So today, we are going to see some problems related to direct proportion. Let's see an example. A car travels 81 kilometers with 4.5 liters of petrol. How far will it go with 20 liters of petrol? We know, as the quantity of petrol increases, the distance traveled by car also increases. Given, a car travels 81 kilometers with 4.5 liters of petrol. We have to find the distance traveled by car with 20 liters of petrol. This is a case of direct proportion. So we can apply the condition x1 by y1 equals x2 by y2. Here, x1 equals 4.5, x2 equals 20, and y1 equals 81. That is, 4.5 by 81 equals 20 by y2. Multiply both 4.5 and 81 by 10, we can write it as 45 by 810 equals 20 by y2. By cross multiplying, we get 45 multiplied by y2 equals 20 multiplied by 810 or y2 equals 20 multiplied by 810 divided by 45 equals 360. Therefore, the car travels 360 kilometers with 20 liters of petrol. Let's see another example. An agent receives a commission of 73 rupees on sale of 1000 rupees. How much commission will he get on the sale of 100 rupees? Here the commission is directly proportional to sales. Given the agent receives a commission 73 rupees on a sale of 1000 rupees. If the sale is 100 rupees, then the commission will be less than 73 rupees. Since it is in direct proportion, we can apply the condition x1 by y1 equals x2 by y2. We take x1 equals 1000 x2 equals 100 and y1 equals 73 then 1000 divided by 73 equals 100 divided by y2 by cross multiplying we get 1000 multiplied by y2 equals 100 multiplied by 73 that is y2 equals 100 multiplied by 73 whole divided by 1000 equals 7.3. Therefore, the agent will get a commission of 7.3 rupees on the sale of 100 rupees. Before winding up, let's check how much you understood by doing an activity. A worker is paid 139.20 rupees for three days. What will he get in the month of June? 
if there are 26 working days. That's all for now, see you all in the next class.